Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and have had a really great weekend. If you're new here, then welcome. I'm Emma and I make beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today's video is a full face of Charlotte Tilbury and I'm doing the Pillow Talk look. I read on her website that they actually sell three Pillow Talk products every minute, which blows my mind. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. I'm going to start by applying the magic cream and this is going to give my foundation a really nice base. As you can see I'm a good way into mine and I'm probably going to need to buy a new one soon. Next I'm going to be applying the Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 2 and this is a new product for me, I've not used it before but I've seen so many people raving about it on YouTube, I just had to try it for myself. So I'm going to be applying this to the high points of my face and using it as an illuminator underneath my foundation. So I'm just going to tap that in just onto my cheekbones oh and that it looks beautiful I can really see how the light is hitting the product and it's giving such a lovely glow to the skin so a little bit to my cupid's bow and a bit down the nose as well and just with the excess I'm just going to put a bit onto my brow bone. On first impression that's giving my skin such a radiant glow and I can see why people like this product so much. For foundation today I'm using the Magic Foundation in the shade 3 Fair and this has a demi matte finish. Um, it does have buildable coverage and I'm going to be building it up to a full coverage finish. So I'm just starting in the centre of my face and working outwards and the foundation brush that I'm using is the IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. I do really like this brush um, for applying foundation and you can see that this is just blending out so easily on the skin. And this is just such a lovely foundation. I think that I actually prefer it to the Airbrush Flawless Finish. I just think it gives a really nice finish to the skin. And especially in winter when the cold weather is going to make your skin a little bit dry. Well, it does mine anyway. This is just adding that little bit more moisture, I feel. I really like how the formula of this foundation sits on the skin. It still looks natural even though it's giving me the coverage that I need um, and I really am enjoying how this flawless filter is coming through underneath that foundation. just looks very natural, very glowy. For concealer today I'm going to be using the Magical Way in the shade Fair. This concealer has a sponge top applicator and to be honest I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. Um, I prefer to put it on the back of my hand and then apply it to my face using a fluffy brush. This just gives me a bit more control over the amount of product that I'm applying. So I'm just going to apply this to the areas that I feel I need a little bit more coverage which is mainly under the eye and possibly a bit around the nose and on the chin. And I just like to blend that out with this fluffy brush. And I'm just patting that out um, just so it blends and melts into the skin a bit better. And just a little bit into the corners of my lips as well. And then I'm just going to use my foundation brush just to blend that out. Because you'll have a little bit of excess foundation on the brush and it'll just make it blend into the rest of the makeup much better. 
For contour today I'm using the Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Fair Medium and this is also a new product for me that I've been desperate to try. Um, it does have a sponge applicator so the same as the concealer I'm going to apply it to a palette or the back of my hand and then apply it to my face using a brush. The brush I'm using is the Hollywood Complexion Brush so I'm going to apply the product using the smaller end and then use this end just to buff and blend it out. And I'm just going to do this as a go because I'm not sure how quickly the product would dry down on my skin. Wow, it does look quite scary when you first put it on, it looks very dark, but that just blended out within seconds and it just looks very natural and soft. Just blends out so so well. So just blending that into my temple and then into my cheek, it helps to suck your cheeks in sometimes just to follow the line of your cheekbone. Just look how easy that is to blend. And I'm actually thinking to myself, I can't believe that I've waited so long to try this. I mean, it's just so, so good. And just look, it, it's not even an effort to blend that into my skin. And using the excess, I'm just going to slightly contour my nose. And I'm just blending that out down the sides. I'm also going to put a little bit of shading underneath my lip. I just can't get over how natural that looks. As I'm using a cream highlight today, I'm going to do my highlighter now. And the one that I'm using is the Beauty Light wand in the shade Pillow Talk. This one is also a new product for me, but if it's as good as the contour wand, then I can't wait to see how this performs. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the cupid's bow. Oh, that is lovely. And just blend that out. Bit on the end of my nose. I'm just tapping that in to blend that out. These cream products are just so beautiful. I can't believe that it's taken me this long to try them. And to the cheekbone. And it's just this gorgeous, soft rose gold. Oh my God, that is so glowy. Just patting that just above my brow bone. That is such a glowy, fresh look. For powder, I'm using my Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to lightly dust this across my face just to set all of the makeup in place. And I'm just patting that into the skin. This is such a good powder. It's so finely milled. And I can really understand why so many makeup artists have this powder in their kit. And for blush today, I'm using the Pillow Talk Cheek to Chic. I'm just applying that quite high on the cheekbone and blending it up into the temple. And 
and just the pop shade onto the apples of the cheeks. So that's base done. The only Charlotte Tilbury product that I do not have is brows so I'm going to jump off camera and do my brows and I'll be right back. That's brows now done and we're going to get started with eyes. For eyeshadow today we're going to be using the Pillow Talk Luxury Eyeshadow Quad and this was actually a gift from my husband in my Christmas stocking last year. He did so well and I was so shocked that he knew what Charlotte Tilbury was let alone which palette that I would love to have in my collection. So can't wait to try this out today, it's long overdue. I think that this year because we've been in lockdown I've just not been wearing as much makeup as usual um, and then with my channel I've been trying a lot of new releases throughout the year so this one has um, needs a bit more love and attention I think so today's the day to try this one out. Starting with the prime shade here, I'm just going to sweep that all the way across my lid using a fluffy brush and let's zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. So I'm just applying a soft wash of colour to the eyelid and blending it up towards the brow bone. And using a pencil brush, I'm just going to bring that into the inner corner. Using the same fluffy brush, I'm then going to apply the enhanced shade to the crease. And I'm just blending that out. I really like that this eyeshadow quad has two matte shades uh, and the formulas of these shadows are stunning. So easy to blend. Colour payoff is beautiful. And using a pencil brush, I'm also going to take that colour under the eye into the lower lash line. I'm going to take the smoke shade into the outer corner and then just underneath into the lower lash line. And for this I'm using the pencil brush just to get right into that outer corner. And again this is a really beautiful matte shade. And we're just going to blend that out using the fluffy brush from earlier. And then using a clean fluffy brush and some flawless finish powder I'm just going to blend out these edges just to soften them a little bit more. Lastly, to finish the eye look, I'm going to apply the pop shade just to the centre of the lid and I think I'm going to do that using my finger. And I'm just applying that to the centre. And I'm using this eyeshadow dry just for a nice soft finish. So this is the finished eyeshadow look and I do really like it so far. To finish the eyes off I'm just going to apply some Pillow Talk eyeliner and some Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes mascara. So I'm starting in the outer corner and I'm just gently smudging the pencil along the lash line. I just love how you can build it up from a very soft look to a much more full volume dramatic eye look for the evening. Now we're moving on to lips, I have the lip liner and lipstick both in the Pillow Talk shade. And I really love the formula of these Lip Cheat pencils, they're some of my very favourite lip liners. So I've just blended that liner into the lip. So lipstick now. Now if you prefer a matte lip you may want to leave the look here but I've personally been enjoying a glossy lip a lot more recently so I'm going to finish off the lips with the jeweled lips in the shade Pillow Talk. And I just really love that gloss. I just think that having a glossy lip just softens the look a little bit more and pulls everything all together. 
Lastly, I'm just going to set the face using the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and if you've not tried this before then you really should because this spray is fantastic. So this is the finished look and I do really like it. I think that it suits my everyday makeup style perfectly. You could absolutely turn this into an evening look by deepening up this outer corner with the smoke shade, adding a more dramatic liner and maybe a false lash. For me the standout products were the Hollywood Flawless Filter, the Hollywood Contour Wand and the Beauty Light Wand and also the Pillow Talk Quad. I think these are beautiful products and I will 100% be using them from now on. I will link all of the products that I've used in today's video in the description bar below in case you want to take a look for yourself. And that's everything for today's video guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I would love to have you join our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.